So hello everybody and a happy new year. I hope you had a great vacation and you're looking forward to start working again. If you haven't had vacation, I hope my videos were entertaining anyway. So I have some news for you. In this week and next week, there is a change on the Power BI service settings that is important that you know, and it is the behavior of publish to web. So when can you publish to web a report using Power BI service is going to change and you need to know that. I personally think that this is the right way to go. Let me show you. So here it says that um, started this week for cloud tenants and government tenants, it will be next week. There is going to be a change in the settings. I check on my settings. If you go here to admin portal, this is good to know even if you're not an admin, so you know what's going on because you're going to see changes. You go here to tenant settings and I never find anything, so I always search, publish the web. So I don't have the settings here. I haven't got the update yet, but it is very clear. You go to tenant settings, publish to web, and very soon you are going to see a new option that it says choose how embed codes work. Uh, what is happening now is that your admin can turn on the ability for you to do publish to web, which is a good thing because if you publish something to web, your data is public suddenly. And I know that a lot of people are not aware of that. It is not easy to communicate. So this should be turned off. And this is the possibility that you can do it. If you are an admin, do it. Now, here's the thing. You can still allow the existing codes to continue living, or you can say allow existing codes and new codes. That means you still have open for everybody. If you're a small company and you have easy to communicate this, you can still leave it open. Otherwise, kill it, kill it. But there is a good addition that is that you can actually add security groups, which means that a certain group of people will have that option. For example, I don't know, some trusted person in the marketing team that is publishing whatever reports on the website using Power BI, they should be able to have that. But you know, they have to be sure that the data is public or it can be made public basically. So Great news. The first thing that you should do is go here to embed codes and see which Power BI reports already have a published to web link. And if you see that they, that they shouldn't have it, just kill it, okay? I don't know, my internet connection is bad or <laughs> the cloud connection is bad, but it will show up very soon. So first of all, go and review the codes that you have. If you do not know if the um, there should be a publish to web uh, link or not, just contact the owner so you know. Once you know that, just kill the option to publish to web or give it to a selected number of users that you know you can communicate what publish to web actually means. Um, I would love for you to show it. Come on, Power BI, show me. <laughs> I don't think I have so many. Well, I do have quite a lot for, you know, for my demos uh, links, but it shouldn't be that slow. Anyhow, while it loads, great thing. It will come this week for cloud tenants, next week for government tenants, disable that, get rid of it. It is good for a very few cases and those very few cases, the people that wants to do that should contact you in order to create a publish to web link. So hopefully that will kill the whole privacy issue that potentially could be if you have this open for everybody. Okay, this is not loading for me. I don't know why, but go here embed codes, click on it. I think they have a picture here. This is how it would look. So you can see that this report owned by this person, well, no, that's the workspace name, published by this person has a link, contact that person, say, are you sure that this is okay? If not, kill it, kill it, kill the codes, okay? You can see here that you have a possibility to delete or you can actually go and view the report and see what, what that report is about and should it actually be public. Okay, so if you find yourself that you cannot 
create publish the web reports now you know what contact your admin he'll explain and hopefully if it is available for you you will be able to create one okay that's all for today i will see you again on friday as always in the meantime take care and bye bye